The concessionaire of Futua Inland Dry Port said that over $20 million intervention fund will be needed to get the port operational within a year. Mr. Usman Iyabas, the managing director of Equatorial Marine Oil and Gas Company Limited, said this during the inspection of the ports with the Nigerian Shippers Council in Casina. We have come here to really inspect and to see the possibility of extending a facility for us to enable us uh, commence uh, uh, operations. So we are looking at uh, the facility between 20 to 50 million dollars. Uh, yeah, it depends on what uh, kind of uh, intervention they can make based on the assessment they have come to make now. So we are very hopeful that uh, uh, after the exercise, uh, maybe they will look at the possibility of uh, giving us maybe between 10 and 20 million dollars, which will go a long way in, in getting the port refreshed. Iyaba said that the port was concessioned to the company since 2006 and has made remarkable progress in terms of development. Though the devaluation of Naira against dollar over the years affected the progress and the total cost to get it operational. Initially when uh, the, the Naira was, uh, or rather the dollar was uh, 200 Naira to a dollar when we started, One, 170 in fact. So, but today you know how much uh, Naira is it to a dollar. So if you do that, you will realize that the cost has really gone up. And that's what makes us to apply to the ECOWAS Bank for Investment and Development uh, located in Lome. For our part, Mrs. Karimoto Othman, Director, North East Zone, Nigerian Shippers Council, said that Funtua Dry Port was one of the ports that Shippers Council oversee. Othman said that the inspection was all to check the progress of work so far, stating that the major challenge limiting progress was funds. The Funtua Dry Zone is one of the dry ports that we oversee and we've come here to check the progress of work so far. We believe that the major challenge they have in delivering the service of the dry port is probably that of finance and I think they are in the process of negotiating with some international bodies regarding that.